Palm Syndicate, the team lead for Wesmo EV in 2023. In this video, the team and I will be going over our project pitches and progress updates. Due to financial and supply issues, the team have changed our goals for this year. Originally, the plan was to create a full bench top setup for an EV drive chain, which complies with the FSAE rules. However, due to the unfortunate circumstances, we have changed our goals. For the engineering design show, our goals will include two different displays. A simulation display where the FSE car will be modeled in MATLAB, with the ESP32 used as an ECU running calculations from the simulation's input and providing feedback as if the simulation was the real thing. Unreal Engine will be used to display the car and its physics. The Logitech wheel and pedals will be used to control the car. Secondly, a low voltage system will be designed and implemented. It will be running all of the systems that the high voltage system would have, such as safety systems, VCU, BMS, and motor controller. A low powered motor will be used to display the system working. I'll be looking at the energy storage system for the Resmo EV car. Due to supply delays, the batteries from Anchor Pack will not be arriving in time for this year. Therefore, the team have switched over to a 48 volt system. This system includes lithium ion batteries and a BMS. The characteristics of the discharge and charging curves of the batteries will be modeled within Simulink. This will help optimize the battery pack for the high voltage system. A battery pack to power the low voltage system have been made with a closed loop BMS for safety purposes. Once the Orion BMS arrives, it will be connected to the 48 volt system. Following the results from MATLAB model, I'm able to start designing the accumulator unit, which can house all the batteries and other components needed. Supercapacitor testing will also be conducted after track day start, which will be done to see if lighter weight supercapacitors can be used to start and run the car. Hi, I'm Vinod and I'm in charge of drivetrain for Westmore EV 2023. My initial goal was to fully develop an EV drivetrain bench setup with the MRAX 228 motor. But given the circumstances and due to delay in lead times, the focus was shifted into making a realistic Simulink model that can replicate the Westmore EV car for next year. As of the engineering design show, a small scale version of the FSA EV car will be put together as a bench setup with a 48 volt motor. I've also got a Logitech gaming wheel and pedals to replicate the inputs real time on a Simulink model. And I plan to get that linked up to a car model that can replicate the input on an Unreal Engine gaming environment. I plan on adding complexity to the Simulink model to replicate the MREX 228 motor and the MCZO motor controller. Also using MATLAB simulation data to pick an ideal gear ratio with the given space of the chassis. I'm Chris. The overall aim for my project is to have a fully functional BMS and safety system integrated into our 48 volt benchtop setup. This equipment will be configured in a manner so that it can be swapped over to the high voltage setup the next year. So far, the BMS equipment has been confirmed and ordered. Most of the safety system equipment has been priced out and is awaiting further confirmation, such as contactors, fuses, and other small electrical components. The pre-charge system has been confirmed, along with the ability of the BMS to talk to the rest of the system through the CAN bus network. In the future, I will integrate all this equipment into our 48 volt low voltage prototype. I will understand the hardware and software integration of the BMS and find the power requirements for all different controllers in the car and get the required voltage regulating equipment. I'm Jed. My goal is to develop a digital twin of an EV battery that aims to predict state of charge based on data retrieved from the DCU. Due to the scope of the EV project and expensive cost of cloud computing, my project will be running on a laptop hosting local host servers. The basic front end structure of the battery dashboard website is complete with four different widgets. The website is made with a JavaScript framework code Vue.js, which helps modularize different parts of the page as components, making code more readable and maintainable. As for the backend, work has begun on implementing a REST API for retrieving data from the database to be displayed on the dashboard. This will be implemented using Express.js, a web application framework for building RESTful APIs, and SQLize, a promise-based ORM tool for interfacing with database software like MySQL. The next steps are to finish implementing REST API in the backend and begin testing it with the front-end dashboard and a test MySQL database. As for the digital twin, machine learning research continues as well as learning the relevant Python libraries to develop the system.
Hi, I'm Casper. My objective was to create a vehicle control unit for the Wismo EV, focusing on the subsystem communication, uh, safety features that are as defined in the FSAE rules, performance enhancement, and data logging. The literature review did not change the aims, but provided further insight into how the aims could have been done or have been done before. As for progress, I've researched and acquired the necessary VCU hardware, implemented the CAN bus communication and tested it, have researched both simple and complex traction control algorithms, and have identified the minimum operational sequences required for the motor controller and BMS to communicate over CAN. Moreover, a data logging Wi-Fi system has been tested. Moving forward, the next objective is to connect the VCU to the other subsystems in the car and to integrate the VCU with MATLAB to develop the traction control system. We're also looking to create some send and receive functions to abstract the details of CAN messaging. My name is Tom and my goal is to help develop the VCU that will be used for both the 48 volt system and the simulator that will be shown at EES. My focus is the electronic pedal and driver feedback components and ensuring that these subsystems meet the required safety standards. At the moment, I have the accelerator pedal connected to an ESP32, which makes up part of our VCU. Two potentiometers are required to measure the travel of the pedal to ensure that it is within a safe working range. The VCU then checks the signals from the sensors to make sure they agree with each other and then passes this on to the motor controller. The next step is to connect a VCU to an LCD screen, which will be used as the dashboard, displaying information such as speed and battery charge. After this, I'll be working with Bernard and Casper to connect the VCU to a MATLAB model so that the simulation can use the same hardware that the final car will be using. And I'll also be working alongside Wilson to display error messages from the IND on the dashboard. Hi, my name is Wilson, and in my part, I will be covering the grounding that will be used in the FSA car. Testing the previous year's carbon fiber parts have resulted that exceeded the maximum resistance set by the regulations. A maximum of 5 ohm is set by the rules for the carbon fiber parts. The current carbon fiber part is measured up to 20 ohms. The installation monitoring device detects a fault in grounding and then proceeds to shut down the tractive system. I'll be looking into the housing of the IMD device and other 12 volts components and the new carbon fiber parts of the 2023 IC car will be also looked into. So they are able to comply with the regulations when the EV car is made. I will be also be looking into the outputting error message of the IMD device.